After a client has successfully obtained IP configurations from a DSP server, it broadcasts what is called gratuitous ARP packets on that segment to announce its existence on the network and inform other devices of its new IP address configuration. What if this IP address is used by another device on the network? How does the DSP client handle this? Or, what if there wasn't any IP address conflict and a device decides to relinquish its configuration before the specified time to expiry? Today, we'll talk about other DSP message types. Hello guys, we'll talk about other DSP messages. So far in this series, we've discussed the DSP Discover, Offer, Request and Acknowledgement messages. Other DHCP messages we'll talk about today are the DHCP Negative Acknowledgement or DHCP NAC, DHCP Decline, DHCP Release, and DHCP Inform messages. To start with, DHCP NAC is another name for the DHCP Negative Acknowledgement packet. Only the DHCP server sends acknowledgement packets, and if it does not agree with the request from the DHCP client, it sends a DHCP NAC instead, such as when a host requests for an IP address that has expired or has been modified for a different use. Also, if a host moves to an entirely different network, it will attempt to request for that IP configuration from the new server. This will cause a DHCP negative acknowledgement packet to be sent by the DHCP server. DHCP decline after a host has obtained IP configuration from a DHCP server, it will attempt to verify the uniqueness of this IP address using address resolution protocol mechanism before putting it to use. In the event that an IP conflict is detected, the DHCP client sends a DHCP decline message to the server and then applies for another IP configuration. Moving on, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notification so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video like this one. DHCP release. After a device obtains IP configurations from a DHCP server, it'll be able to use this IP address for a specific time period called the least duration, least time, least period, or simply least, which may be specified by the server. After this timer expires, Assuming that all attempts to extend this lease fails, the DHCP client must relinquish this IP address. However, a client may decide to relinquish this IP address explicitly, that is, before the timer expires, by sending a DHCP release packet to the server. The remaining lease is cancelled, the IP address is relinquished, and the client will start the DHCP cycle all over again. The last DHCP message is the DHCP inform message. The DHCP inform message was added as a new message type in RFC 2131. A device that has obtained IP configuration through some other means, for example through manual configuration, may send a DHCP inform message to the DHCP server in order to obtain other network configuration information, such as the DNS server address, gateway IP address, and other local configuration parameters available in the DHCP address pool configuration. This is the end of today's presentation. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on that bell for active notifications. Thank you for watching.